Hey, hey everyone, Starkiller here, and welcome to the Extras channel. And today I'm going to talk about, you know, cloud gaming, and what's going on in that kind of circle right now. Of course, everyone knows Google Stadia, you know, Google's own cloud gaming service, is shutting down in next year. I forgot, I think it's February or something. So... You know, that reminded me of another service that I loved a lot. I didn't really like Stadia, but it was still decent. Um, but a ser cloud gaming service I loved a lot. And it had a lot more features than Stadia. And had this one certain thing. Which was OnLive. And OnLive had a gaming system. Well, to be frank, this is a micro console that connected to the internet... Uh, and connected to the servers of OnLive. The only local thing you had was signing into your account and just hitting, you know, any other options for networking stuff. That's about it. You just hit sign in and connects you to the service. Mind you, the, um, you know, the service is now dead, so this is a paperweight. So, while I'm at it, I uh, want to do another video of this. I did one years ago, but... Now, yeah, I wish I, I need to get a tripod for my camera. I might hook it up to like here, maybe, to connect it so it can do like down shots like, like I want to do. So, yeah. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I definitely like this design. So it has two USBs, a power button right there, a HDMI port, a AV port, which you needed to go to OnLive support to get it. It doesn't come with it. Um, a uh, line out, a, oct a optical uh, port, Ethernet, of course. Actually, um, these never, I think they... I think this version specifically does not have Wi-Fi. Um, so, you needed to just use Ethernet. I think later models of this came with Wi-Fi. I could be wrong. Um, and then there's uh, the power port. So, yeah, it's a nice little design. It doesn't even look like a console, honestly. Or a micro any micro console. Like, if they released this as, like, a regular micro console, I would, like, buy this. This is cool. I like the look of it. And what's as cool is the controller. Now this is, this was a actually good control. Oh wow, that's sticky. Oh ew. Oh wow, that's aged. Ugh, that's sticky. Yeah, I didn't think of that, huh? Um, I'm gonna touch the analog stick, but yeah, it, this was a very comfortable controller. I liked it a lot from using it. That is so like you could see the grossness of that. Yuck. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had the... It had, you know, the usual eight, you know, two sticks in the front, the D-pad, you know, that's something like the PlayStation controls sticks for configuration. It had, but it had the Xbox A, B, X, Y, uh, stuff, and I think the bumpers uh, and the triggers were pretty much also named with, like, the 360. And also you had these media buttons, like, yeah, because like, you can record brag clips, there's a record button, there's also a, 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 you know, fast forward over there, play button, and uh, rewind, I don't know why I struggled there. But the fun fact, um, so, this is the chargeable battery. Also, here's a little instruction guide to have connected. All my packaging's pretty good. Um... And you get, you know, the two batteries and the power adapter, which is in here. And also, something that's popped in. A AA battery port. Uh, pocket or something, I forgot. You know, just... So, it came... The fun part is, this... And this came together. Like, they actually sold that together. Um, instead of having it separate, which is awesome to think of, actually, because, um, 
you didn't need to go out and buy an extra power adapter. And you know, it came with the cable. This is some mess of cables that I don't want to really mess with. Um, yeah, it came with, you know, the charging cable. I think this is actually it. Yeah, it came with the micro USB charging cable, which I think broke. So I had to use the batteries a lot. Ethernet cable, because you need to with this product. <laughs> and an HDMI cable, which was like one of the first. I was like, holy shit, this comes with an HDMI cable. The Nintendo did it, which is like, oh shit. Nintendo did it. Nintendo did it first. But yeah, and then, so, you know, the service... Uh, had a rehaul back in 20, I think 2013, where you could play your Steam games in the cloud. They use this thing called CloudLift, and you use your Steam games to play online on on the service. Um, they stopped selling games on the service in general. So, like originally, you know, you had you could buy games, rent them, or try them out through the service. Like you buy the games, but then um, they did a whole 2.0. With the cloud lift stuff, with a new UI, and then, and then after that, they sold to Sony, and the server shut down uh, in 2015. So, like, fucking seven years from now, huh? Uh, so there was a lot of things better with OnLive than Stadia, would say. Um, definitely better community sort of stuff. Like, my God, the community features of OnLive was fantastic. You know, you had spectating where you can watch people play the game if you really want to, and you can cheer or jeer them. Um, and also from there, you can just launch a game. Um, the friend stuff was pretty great. Um, you know, had the messaging, tech, voice chat. You know, the, uh, the voice chat came later, but there was voice chat for in-game stuff. Also, for, you can voice chat in spectating mode, and there's the uh, group uh, party chat, like Xbox Live party. And stuff like that, and you know the spec. You know, you know, sending messages was you know through text or, I think you could do voice. I could, don't remember, but you also can send brag clips to friends. So, you know, just, just, just show them off, I guess. <laughs> Be like, hey, I did this better than you, and they try to do it again, and they do it, you know, repeat. And the friend stuff is pretty typical. You have the profile, and you send friend requests and that. It was basic, basic, but of the day, but it had a lot of charm to it. Stadia, I felt like it had no charm. It felt soulless. Um, the community features was basically add a friend, play with a friend, voice chat with a friend, and later on they added sending messages to friends, which was like, okay, and now it's that's dying and next year, huh? They, so, yes, but as a whole, you know, one thing Stadia didn't have was this kind of micro console. They sold, like, you know, the Chromecast Ultras, which was, or just Chromecast, you know, which was like, you know, if you, you know, Chromecast from your phone to a device, you know, for watching media, but with Chromecast, they also made it kind of like a game console, I guess, when you have the Stadia controller. I don't have a Stadia controller, I might get one, uh, they don't sell them on the Google site anymore, so I have to go on eBay, just to have it, because, I, you know, I, I, as for me, you know, I like to have weird, you know, weird stuff, you know, this weird gaming stuff most of the time, so, I, I, I would like, you know, that, this is definitely one of my big, like, man, this is the holy grail for me, I guess, because this is something, like, I like the system. I liked OnLive when it was new and when it was, like, big, kind of big. Um, so this is just, to me, the holy grail of having something really rare. They also sold the controller, so... OnLive sold the Bluetooth controller because later on you can play through smart TVs and also Android tablets. Originally it was going to come to iOS, but I, you know Apple regulations and shit was still bad back then. This is now, so yeah. So yeah, OnLive shut down in 2015. It lasted, I think, ten years actually. That's oh, ten years. Wow, lasted five years. It was in self-development for years. They showed concepts of 
it being like in 2004, 2003 maybe. But you know, technology, you know, internet at that point was way too early. Still kind of, still is. Well, not early, it just hasn't fully matured. And, you know, there's so much you can do now with cloud streaming. Like, Stadia was pretty good. Like, it is definitely better than OnLive. But OnLive just had the charm to it. Like, that was really it. Um, what else? Uh, but yeah, the Bluetooth, there was a Bluetooth control. I should have got that when it was new. Didn't know it was going to go under. Because maybe I could use it on, like, my PC here. It's very dusty. Don't mind that. I need to wipe it down. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, OnLive did Stadia better in terms of community stuff. But I think Stadia definitely did, like, the video quality of the stream better. And frame rate better. And Stadia had Linux, so that's plus for me, right? <laughs> but it's Google not knowing how to fucking do shit that sh made it shut down. That was Stadia. Well, you know, OnLive went bankrupt, and then they had to redo OnLive, and then sold to Sony, so... Not... Both sides is not that great. But after this, I was kind of done with cloud gaming. Like, I dabbled in it with GeForce Now, and I think cloud gaming, as of now, is a good, like, companion. Um, like, Xbox Game Cloud, uh, game streaming, you know, you can have your Game Pass library in the cloud, and you can play it locally on your consoles, and then you, and then, you know, like, game, you know, game, G game, game, GeForce Now, you know, that's a companion to any of your PC stuff, so, like, Steam and Game... Epic Games, the Ubisoft Connect, or EA account, whatever they fucking call it these days. Um, that's a good companion to that. Um, but Stadia and OnLive, and OnLive did it later, late, too late, I think. But Stadia and on, uh, OnLive did, like, you can just buy the games on the service. And you can, those are your games on the service. Like, I don't think, like, a full, like, account system would have worked. It won't work, honestly, right now. Like, just buying the games off the service. No, I think you need, like, a com it needs to be a companion thing, in my opinion, right now. And a as a companion, it works pretty well. But as, like, it its own big thing, no. No. <laughs> as much as people want, like, the cloud gaming, like, hopus. Like, the pe people really are for cloud gaming, um... Pretty much wrong with that. I think also like a another one, uh, Amazon Luna. That's also you get a subscription service and you just get the games that's on the service. So that's another one. It's like I could see it go downhill, but whatever. Um, it's you know now been full a two a decade already, where you know we talked about cloud gaming stuff and is it really the future as of right now? It's not going to happen. Maybe in three decades, it's going to be a reality. So, yeah. So with that said, I'm going to go. Uh, that's my thought. And I just want to talk about this and just show off the game console. I did it on my old like main channel years ago, so I think, you know, this is redundant, but I think I just wanted to... Now with Stadia shutting down, I just want to put my hand in the ring and talk about it, and also show off this. Of course, I always like to show off this because this is so unique in my collection. Like out of everything, even the Steam Control, I feel like does not compare to this. So yeah, especially when it's a paperweight. This is a big paperweight. But with that said, I'm gonna go. Have a great day, everyone. Peace out.